Welcome back everybody to the channel. Welcome to the podcast. If you are new here, this is the Ride Home Podcast. I have just entered my transportation vehicle. I am now driving home and I want to chat with you guys about the newest and latest and greatest in film and movies. Right now, I have just got out the theater from seeing It Chapter 2. I am your host, John Grant. Welcome to part three of the podcast of the Ride Home podcast essentially me riding home and talking to you guys about my movie so it chapter two we just saw it and uh if you guys don't if this is your first time really listening to the podcast um i am going to discuss the video i'm not going to do a review score or pick like a review number um i i just uh, i just don't pick numbers in scores for movies anymore but i will discuss my thoughts pennywise is back again for another iteration. Now let's talk about the first It movie for just a, a couple minutes here. The first It movie was a masterpiece. It was phenomenal. It was one of the greatest film type of movies in a long time. It really put a lot of emphasis back in the, the horror genre as well. It was an absolute masterpiece. So that being said, it was going to be really tough to beat this, the original essentially with part two. It was definitely gonna be extremely tough. And it chapter two, you know, while even though it is a sequel and it's an addition to part, part one, I like to keep it in the field of its own movie. So a lot of people, I can already tell you, they, are gonna feel like they don't enjoy this movie because um, in a lot of people's opinions, it might not be as good as the original uh, It film that dropped. And who knows, maybe some people are going to like it uh, more than, than the original. Um, but at least in my opinion, um, I personally did not like it more than the original. But at the same time, I thought the film was a great film and a, a good film to watch. I obviously, I do have some gripes and stuff. We'll get into that. But um, overall, I thought, um, let me take my great um, stance back. Um, I, I, thought it, I thought it was a solid film. Not as good as the first, but I thought overall it was a solid, enjoyable uh, film. Uh, now let's talk about obviously the adult characters and all the adult characters did a fantastic job i have no issues with any of the adult characters from georgie to bill to to uh the female in it um sorry i i don't have everybody's name unfortunately so i will just be going off appearance or looks and stuff like that but all the adults did a fantastic job they they did just as good as a job, in my opinion, as the kids did in the original movie. Just their, um, how they, their cooperation, how they uh, built off of one another, their um, synergy, their chemistry, all that worked really well. So when it comes to that standpoint, from a actor and actress filming standpoint, they did an absolutely great job there, so bravo to them there. Um, it, the the guy that does play it, I'm sorry, I do not remember his name as well. Um, I'm terrible with names. I will get better with names, so please um, forgive me at this moment of time. I thought he did a fantastic job. Um, also, guys, it is raining a little bit as well, uh, so you guys, and there's a little bit of hail going on. So you guys might hear a little bit of hail noise or rain noise in the background, and that I do apologize for. And also guys, just to throw in there, we will be discussing specific parts of the film. So be sure, uh, there. I am gonna give you guys a spoiler warning now. Check out the video after you've watched it if you don't wanna get spoiled, because uh, we are gonna delve into some specific parts of the story. Um, so essentially, to break it down, all the kids, um, 27 years later, they get back together based off of a uh, realizing that the clown 
has now been back on its killing spree. And now the team does have to get back together to, you know, do what they need to do, take them out. And throughout the whole story, there are, I kind of feel like they could have done a better job a little bit with the pacing of the film. I kind of felt like while the, 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 the thriller elements and the scary elements, they were there. Yeah, a lot of them had the same cadence um, and the same kind of tone to where it kind of felt like they knew what they wanted to do, like the scary elements and the scenes for each character. So what they did is it seemed like they kind of they kind of pieced it out and they made each of the scary elements and then they kind of put it together in the film. And it just kind of, it started seeming just a little bit repetitive in all of their scary moments because each character had their own scary moment where essentially uh, It the Clown was trying to scare the living shit out of them and they would be completely scared or he would try to kill them or whatever the case may be. But uh, the cadence definitely became very similar i would say out of four of the seven uh horror elements that they had in the scary version so um at least in my opinion um i i heard from a few people that they didn't feel like the movie was too scary or it, it wasn't scary enough but um i felt like it had a lot of great creepy moments i mean the uh towards the end of the movie when they were back in the mansion the spider that was in the building or in the uh the the old mansion with um what's i forget the kid's name but with his face the face spider you guys know what i'm talking about if you've seen the film another good one where was the girl under the seats at the baseball game that one was a really good one that might have been one of the best ones i mean wow they they did it. i feel like they did do a good job of just having good scary thriller moments so um congratulate them on that overall is it a film that i recommend seeing in theaters i do i still think the reputation in the film and the build of it it's still a movie to go see in theaters for me i, I started feeling a little drawn out towards the last 30 45 minutes of the movie but it, overall i thought it was a good entertainable movie overall so bouncing back to the story you know, the the adults get back together and they meet up at this Chinese restaurant. That was a, that was a great scene as well. Uh, them meeting up, them having dinner at this Chinese restaurant, them reminiscing about old times because a lot of stuff they they actually forgot the farther they leave from town. And while they're eating, you know, they're, they're done eating. They open up their fortune cookies and then there's uh, each of each fortune cookie that they open up has a different word in it. Uh, and it spells out something like, you know, um, whoever the character, I think it was, was it Georgie or I can't, I can't remember, but it says he, he could not cut it. And, uh, uh, one of the characters, one of the adult characters, he actually committed suicide before the movie even started. So one of the, one of the adults went down instantly. They didn't even get to the main part of the movie. One of them went down and then throughout the whole film, only one other one died. So essentially it only killed. The clown only killed one of all the adults. Um, so it, that was a little disappointing for me. I thought, you know, you know, it did have a good ending. So I thought more should have at least died or maybe even all of them should have died. Or, you know, I, I feel like there was a few parts, a few elements where he didn't seem as threatening enough. He was just really scary and, and you know, trying to spook them. But... I wouldn't have mind if a couple more of the adults did end up dying. Uh, kids died though. Kids, you know, the clown was not playing around with the kids. He was taking, he took out almost more kids than he did uh, uh, the, the main character. So that was interesting. Um, so yeah, essentially they, they all go get back together. They go back to the town. While they are at the town, they then try to devise a plan to figure out how to kill the clown. And the, the black dude who's been there the whole time, he's he's been reading up on it. He knows all the lore and all the background and, 
and he has a plan to kill it. So they all have to go and find like their specific like, you know, tokens or memorabilia in order to knock, take the clown out. And then as they, but they all have to split up, of course, because their, their, their scary scenes wouldn't be as good if they weren't all split up. But uh, it was, it also had a lot of play on a lot of characters being kind of goofy and dumb, even though they were adults. Um, you know, the, the kind of the big thing about it, the clown is, you know, he likes to prey on, or it likes to prey on children and, and kids because they're easier to trick. But I felt like a lot of times the adults were still as gullible and as dumb as the, uh, the, the, the children were. There were a, a lot of moments where I just felt like they could have been smarter or they could have reacted better. But uh, like I said, that's just a gripe. It, it wasn't a huge deal for me in the film. Um, but yeah, so after they all split up, they all try to get their tokens to bring back and for their sacrifice to kill the clown. They all get their scary moments, and uh, like I said, I'd say more than half of their scary moments were very similar in the cadence, where essentially, you know, they hear a noise, they go and see what the noise is, then there's like a scary element to it, uh, where where the clown tricks them or does something. But it, they still had great moments, but I would say this, the, the cadence of it just was, it was like build up, scare, build up, scare build up scare it wasn't like at least in my opinion it didn't really move from that nature so like when the scary parts were getting ready to happen you were obviously already ready for them um so but that's just my opinion um so once they all get their their memorabilia they all meet up again um and then the the main character he actually who was played by uh P professor x from the uh, X-Men First Class. I don't remember his name either. He was also in Split, but he's amazing, amazing actor. Sorry, guys, I'm terrible with names. But he actually ends up uh, kind of going solo dolo. He gets kind of, uh, he starts feeling guilty for getting these people killed. He starts seeing um, that the clown is essentially, it is pretty much drawing him out. So he essentially goes solo dolo for a bit to try to stop um, it on his, his, you know, on his own, uh, which was another gullible case because of course it loves when you're by yourself, when you're solo, so he can pick you off. It's always better when you're with a group of people. Uh, so he goes solo dolo for a while. They then eventually meet back up. Um, and then pretty much they go to the old original house. They go down in the sewers, some scary elements here, some scary elements there. They then go into uh, the sewers to refight it. I did. I mean, I did like the whole weird, goof, uh, like you know, prophecy stuff like that. Because uh, remember, it is pretty. The clown is pretty much a demigod. It is a otherworldly being, um, and it's very manipulative. And it's it's a it's a creature. That's why it's called it because it it's whatever it wants to be. So, uh, but very manipulative. So. Um, I did like the whole lore of, of trying to capture it. They were unsuccessful at capturing it with the ritual. It was able to survive. And then they had like a cool little battle scene, some more horror elements. And uh, eventually they kill um, and destroy it as it looks. And they go off on their own. So yeah, that was pretty much the base of it. I felt like it could have probably been about 20, 25 minutes Maybe even 30 minutes shorter. They might have been able to shave off some uh, a good amount of time. Uh, it did start to feel a little drawn out towards the end. I think it came in at a two and a half hour film. But overall, I still recommend to go check it out. So, um, But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's the quick podcast, a little discussion, my thoughts of it. Um, today, I do do all kinds of different videos on my channel. Reaction, reviews, news. Please check back on the channel. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell too. Um, I'm making a ton of content daily. I hope you guys enjoy the content. And please, uh, it really does help me out. You know, the way YouTube's algorithms built and the 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 way to, to uh, get more traction on YouTube is really from you guys helping 
with uh, subscribing and commenting so we can talk and, and make more content because I want to give you guys as much content as possible because I love, you know, I'm assuming you guys love listening to this stuff and talking about film. I love talking about film with you guys as well. So please help out as much as you can. Uh, that being said, guys, um, take care. Thanks for joining the Ride Home Podcast. I will catch you guys around. Have a good one.